Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Rins Kadauna and this is my art channel. Today is one of my most proudest moments in my art career. But before I will share what it is, because it's huge, I want to share my story, how I became an artist. I think this story is very beautiful and inspiring. So let's go back in time, shall we? After high school, I was studying at the University of Utrecht, communication and information science. And the last year of that study, I just wasn't feeling it. I'm more practical and I love to work. And school is just not really my thing. I decided to, well, take a break. My family was very supporting in my decision. My dad offered me a job in his company and his company had everything to do with art but on a different level. And at that time, I wasn't interested in art at all, really. I was beginning 20s, I'm 35 right now. So it's a while back and um, this company had everything to do with project management for the biggest museums in the Netherlands, managing exhibitions, uh, security systems from security guards to lighting to international shipping and a lot more. His office, was city center and literally next to his office was the biggest and is the biggest art store of The Hague. So when I left the office, I always passed this art store. And sometimes I went in, I looked at all these gorgeous paints, all these colors, all these paint brands, mostly Amsterdam, by the way, and felt quite overwhelmed and intimidated by it. I stood there, I really remember this day, I stood there and sort of dreamt. How cool would it be to know what art supplies to get first, but just to be an artist, to create artworks. And I was thinking, but what would I create? I left the art store without buying anything because I just had no clue but this was one of the first times i really dreamt of being an artist without it being a reality at all for me so a couple years later um, i was still working with my dad and uh, we had an amazing time really um, but he got sick he passed away uh, this is really hard for me because i still miss him every day and he never saw me become an artist as well. Uh, he would be so, so proud. He would love, love this. But just a week before he passed away, I decided to start my own company. I wasn't schooled or anything, but I loved graphic design to be creative. And every free hour that I had went into learning graphic design. And since he was sick and I knew I wouldn't be working with him again, um, I felt like there's a new step for me to take in life. And uh, just really, uh, it came with me one night, I'm gonna start my own company and just see where I will end up. This is something I do quite regular in my life. Just decide something and dive in. So I started my graphic design business and I was very creative, had a lot of great clients as well, but still I felt something was missing. I needed a more creative outlet because graphic design was really my hobby and something uh, that was for me. And then suddenly it became work, right? So I needed a new hobby. And I was thinking about painting, but still, I didn't know where to start, what to buy. And then one day, that's eight years ago, I saw an artist online, Nitra Art, and I loved his work. He creates those beautiful, vibrant, super colorful African animals, or at least at the time, that was really his style. I really was into his work. And I wanted to search for his website because I maybe wanted to buy one of his paintings. I couldn't find his website. And then I just decided to send him a message by Facebook. I will create your website if you learn me the basics of acrylic painting. And he responded very positive. 
So the next week I drove to Belgium. So that's a different country than the Netherlands, guys. And we met up in Antwerp in one of the biggest art stores there. And he showed me all these paints that I was looking at earlier. He really taught me the basics of what to look for, what canvases, what paints, what are they, what's opaque, what's transparent. And then I bought a bunch of art supplies. First time we went to the park in Antwerp and we had this canvas and just started painting, doing a lot of different techniques, seeing how the paint works. And it was really an amazing, amazing day and really an eye opener for me because now I understood more of the basics of painting. And literally every free hour I had, I turned my office that was in my home into my studio, my painting studio, and started painting, just blending paint, just seeing color palettes work and trying to create paintings, but I wasn't feeling any certain style. So they all became sort of blended backgrounds. And uh, Nitra, he said to me, one day you will find your style. And I thought, you know, he's just being nice. Of course, one day I will find my style. Probably not, but hey, I can try. I found a video online where someone had liquid art and was doing a flip cup. And this was back in 2016, I guess. I thought these results are so, so magic. So I went to the art store, bought a lot of more paints, like literally every euro I had went into buying more art supplies. I started mixing it with water because I felt like, yeah, they need to be more liquid. I couldn't find the video anymore that I've seen. And I didn't know how this lady was mixing her paint at all. But I thought, you know, water will work. I tried some sort of flip cups. I didn't really like the results. And then I saw someone um, using a blowing tool for uh, acrylic inks and uh, watercolors. Yeah, of course, you know, I can blow this paint because it's liquid. So I started really, really, really doing that. I was loving the results because I could use negative space as well in these paintings. And of course, I showed my paintings to my friends, my family, and they were all so supportive and loving my artworks. And if I look back now, I think they were just nice, maybe. But um, it really gave me a good feeling. I started posting some of my works on Instagram. And a couple of people started buying my artworks, more friends, family. One day, a lady from Australia bought a triptych of mine. So a world opened there. Uh, I had just a couple of hundred followers. But painting was now, for a couple of years, so into my life, I was really doing this almost every day. When I went to bed, all I could think of was painting and what I would create next or what I would try next. So I was scrolling on Instagram, 2018, and I saw a lady doing a 100-day project. She created drawings every day, and this was her project. And then it hit me. I'm going to do this. A hundred day project, one painting a day to see where it would take me. Worst case scenario, I'm not making any money. I have a hundred paintings in my house, but I would definitely learn something. So, <laughs> so when I decide something like that, I'm not going to start tomorrow. No, I'm starting right, right now. I called Wouter and just said, I'm going to start a 100-day project, a painting a day. I might not earn any money with my graphic design during those days. Um, he said, can I change your mind? I said, no, guess not. He said, all right, we will make it work. I will support you. You know, <laughs> he is so sweet, really. And that was the start of a 100-day project. I wasn't on YouTube at that moment, you know, not filming anything just making pictures of the artworks that I created. So this 100 so this hundred day project came out of nothing really. And I started that. And I think on day 30 or something, I gained a lot more following 
and more buzz and momentum with my artworks. And so many people were asking me, how are you doing this? Well, I was only creating Dutch pours, Dutch pours. It wasn't known as a Dutch pour. Nobody knew I was using a blow dryer and I wanted to keep it sort of secret because I started selling more of my artworks. And so then I did a story on Instagram, ask me any question you love. One person asked me, can you create a video? And I responded, I have no clue how to video what my angles would be. And on that post, I got a message from Alex and he sent me, I would love to create a video with you because I'm trying to expand my portfolio as a videographer. I responded right away, that would be amazing. And apparently he was just living across the street. So we met up the next day and the week after we started filming one of the first videos. We had a real good connection and this 100 day project, I think we were on day 60 then or something we were filming and I felt so, so proud. This 100 day project is really opening up what's possible while creating art. But so, so many questions. How are you creating those paintings? And it was a very, very difficult decision that maybe I'm giving my secret away here. No, art is to inspire and every artwork that's created is different. So I called Alex and said, you know, Let's start a YouTube channel. And so we did. So we made our first full tutorial, how to use the blow dryer, how to create the bottles, how to mix your paint in 2019, beginning 2019. And I named it the Dutch Poor. If you want to know the story, why I named it the Dutch Poor, I will link it in the description because it's a funny one as well. And that video, it blew up. It was amazing so of course we started creating more tutorials and now i believe i can say the dutch pour is one of the most popular acrylic pouring techniques out there so this is really how i became an artist it is because of you all your support you who are watching my videos who are commenting on my posts and then I remembered me standing in this art store, feeling overwhelmed with all the paint, supplies, brushes, tools, what to get, what is quality. And the idea was born. Now I can present you Rinske Dauna Art Supplies. We are an authorized retailer of all the biggest leading art brands. And I picked all the products myself so you know they are good quality you can find my store on rinskedauna.com and this is so amazing to me thinking back of me standing in that art store and now working super close with all these brands picking out all the products for you our prices are super competitive. I can't wait to share this website with you. We carry Amsterdam, Deco Art, Likitex, Winter and Newton, Golden, and a lot more big brands. For now, I just couldn't wait. For now, we only offer shipping to the USA, but we are working super hard to have it worldwide. So stay tuned, but please go check out my website, Rinskedauna dot com and see all the beautiful supplies I picked out for you. I'm so grateful for all your support and to make this happen. I wouldn't be here where I am now without you. And of course, this is a dream come true for me. Really, I'm so, so excited. I'm really over the moon today. And, uh, but my dreams won't stop. I have a lot more goals, so I'm going to share them in this video and let's see if they come out. I want a new course, the Dutch Poor Bloom. That's going to happen in November, I guess. But also 
how cool would it be to have my own product line, my own paint line? Okay. Next stream to follow. Thank you so much, guys. This was my TED Talk. Wasn't this a TED Talk? I will hope to see you in my website, see you on my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.